hello so it's been ooh, it's been probably a month and five days since i last uh, recorded myself doing these talks and it's going to be a little bit different today so i'm not going to do the same format as my last two videos so i have sit have a sit down uh talk about sort of sort of the changes that have been going on in my life recently it's 20th today so five days until christmas well four days after tonight um that's gonna be great fun looking forward to that but yeah um some of the changes so i've managed to find a um sort of a pain specialist who specializes in sort of lower back pain and the place is just amazing um people are incredibly nice extremely knowledgeable and they just seem to know what they're doing it, it fills me up with a lot of confidence that uh, my back uh, is very close to being recovered so <clears throat> yeah i went there last week and for the free consultation and as soon as i got on that sort of table and they were doing <clears throat> the guy was doing some tests on me i i instantly knew uh, you know this is this is going to be the time where my my back um uh, gets fully my back fully recovers um as i said he, he knew exactly what he was doing he knew exactly what he needed to do to help me um to recover so on Wednesday, uh, in two days, um, I will uh, go for a proper consultation, getting to do, you know, run me through all these tests and get a better idea of where I'm at. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I didn't have any of that around my university. You know, it was just massages. Yeah, this guy pretty much explained to me that massage wouldn't do much simply because the back is weak not tight so that's a good sign i'm looking forward to uh, working with him some more and hopefully my back will be fully recovered and i'll be able to lift some big boy weights again so i'm looking forward to that and secondly i've officially took on a coach for bodybuilding uh as i said uh, probably in my first video uh, that I would like to compete in bodybuilding so you know the best thing I could have done was to get a coach that who understands you know the the sport and can really help me um, get there my nutrition is terrible and it's you know it's only been made obvious to me uh, working with him for the last four days he's he's changed my body around really and uh i've lost more weight uh in the short amount of time that i've worked with him than i had before and i'm on double the amount of food as well i'm doing a little bit more activity um but other than that he's he's he raised my food quite a bit um i said he's probably he's doubled it and it's crazy to see the, the changes my body's gone through. Well, my muscles seem bigger, the the weighing scales have gone lower, and it's uh, it's really exciting. And although I'm on six meals a day, it's quite enjoyable. Uh, it's when I first saw the plan that he gave me. I'm not gonna lie, I shit myself a bit. It was it was intimidating to look at all that food, but the the food he's picked and um the way he set up the meals it's it's really easy and he's listened to me he's listened to my likes and um he seems really switched on when it comes to it so i'm incredibly glad uh incredibly glad that i'm i'm doing this now and i can't wait to see what he'll um i can't wait to see what i'll look like in four months it took me four months to lose three and a half stone from my worst to um to last week and uh yeah this is and that was with my own sort of shit nutrition and training but this is uh this is somebody who knows his stuff 
and I'm sure he'll be able to take me to take me places I've I've never been before. So that is that is probably the most exciting thing I've got going on in my life right now. Um, and due to these um, last two changes, I've also made the decision on another thing, which is staying home while studying at university. So my university is about four hours away, and it would be too much of a, a personal risk to go back there. Uh, I'd have to start again uh, being social, <clears throat> um, which may not play out for a couple of reasons. One, I'm very antisocial, you know, a lot of anxiety. Uh, two, if I do get back into being social, and if I'm successful in that, I'll probably be drinking a lot, going a lot of night outs, and ruining a lot of the progress I made now, you know, um, I don't really trust myself, uh, I've come a long way, but I feel like I'm always one step back from being the person I was, and I just think it would be a better idea to stay here, when I'm surrounded by my family and my friends, and yeah, just just have that strong support structure around me. Um, it's not a big issue, it shouldn't be a big issue. I'll speak to my lecturers about it in more detail, but this is my reset year. I'm resetting my MA. And I've been to the lectures already, you know. And all I've got to do now is just do the assignments. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But uh, yeah, I just had to speak with them and yeah, it looks like I'm staying home, which is, it's nice, you know. Uh, I do like North Wales for many reasons, but uh, I think I just need home. I think I just need to be home for sort of this recovery, mentally and physically. I think that's, you know, the best thing I can do. I think I want to talk about this last point now, before I got a... Sharon, go to bed. <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to sort of talk about how crazy the last four and a half months have been. <clears throat> I've turned my life around so fast and it almost feels surreal. About two months, uh, about two weeks ago, uh, it felt like I woke up from a period of maybe disassociation or or a period of you know looking so far into the future that when I started to finally see my future shape I just woke up it was very strange before that I was I always saw myself as that 20 stone uh, suicidal mess but um, one morning I just woke up, I saw myself in the mirror and I didn't recognise what I was looking at anymore. I, I realised the change that I have made uh, in myself and it's crazy. It's still, I still have that feeling now whenever I'm in the gym and I look at myself in the mirror, I just think, you know, who is that? Like I've been asleep for, you know, two years uh, from when before I injured myself. It's it's a familiar feeling, um, but it's it's a bit worrying because I need to be living in the present. I can't always have my mind on the future, you know, because because I'm gonna miss a lot of things. And um, ever since that has happened, I've been really trying to live in the in the present, focus on what I'm doing now and just just be grateful for it, just just enjoy it. Now those are things that I couldn't do um, a few months ago. <clears throat> um, I had gone down so far that all I could see was the future um, but, but I made no effort to change. And every day I refused to see myself in the present. And, uh, and that's how I, I got there in the first place. 
now I'm more critical of myself every day. You know, I'm not destroying my self-esteem or anything, but I'm making sure I check those boxes every single day. I get things done that I need to do every single day. And as I said last video, uh, don't beat yourself down. You know, you've sort of you have got to go easy on yourself. You can be critically critical of yourself, but you need to be, you need to do it in the way that you're not, you know, swearing at yourself and just being a, just being horrible to yourself. You know, you've you've got to be gentle with yourself because this is something that I have had issues with for as long as I remember. And I'm not going to break those patterns straight away. And yeah, that feels like I'm repeating the things I said in the last video, so I, I won't go there again. <clears throat> but yeah, I think today's lesson is to live in the present more, ground yourself, be, be grateful for what you have, and don't look into the future so much. You know, it's important to look into the future, look at your plans and your goals and everything, but don't make that as a main focus every single day. You know, get everything you need to do today and tomorrow will be brighter, tomorrow will be closer to your future, if you get what I mean. And that's what I'm doing now for this new plan. Very full on, 15,000 steps, you know, roughly around about 3,000 calories and 20 minutes of hit cardio a day you know it's pretty full on i'm struggling to fit things around it so it's just work and even just getting good eight hours sleep you know it's a bit hard but i'll get there work things around it it is a new plan it is something i'm not used to so the more i do it the more efficient i'll become i'm looking forward to it i think that's everything i'd like to say just a quick update uh i'm probably not going to upload for the rest of this month probably the next time i record will be in a new year's i talk about new year's resolutions and things like that so yeah if anyone's watching this keep your chin up keep going uh, it will get easier i'm the happiest i've well maybe the happiest i've ever been and, and that's saying something compared to who i was four months ago shit happens but you got to get back in there and life gets easier trust me i've i've done it many times and every single time i'm even happier so yeah i hope everyone enjoys their christmas they eat plenty of shit and i'm only having one day off which is christmas day yeah i'm having one day off i just can't talk myself into it Right, I like Christmas and New Year's. Don't get too drunk. Oh, fuck it, just do it.